This portion of Really Wild Animals is brought to you by Really Scary Fish! Oh, sharks! Swim for your lives! Hey, wait a minute! What are those guys doing? Aren't they afraid they'll be ripped to shreds? Hmm. Maybe Mr. Big Mouth is suffering from a bad reputation. Of course, you wouldn't want to get too near him unless you were trained like these scientists. I mean, yes, it's a good idea to put a cage between you and those 50 teeth of the great white shark. <sighs> but the truth is, the shark deserves a little pat on the fin now and then. After all, it's very good at what it does. Sharks are built for speed. They have cartilage instead of bones, which is what makes them so light and flexible. Sleek and streamlined, sharks are born hunters. But not all of them eat meat. A few prefer plankton, which is kind of like the ocean's version of breakfast cereal. It's a rich mix of tiny plants and animals that live in the water. It's hard to believe that something as huge as a basking shark would only eat plankton. More than one and a half million litres of water filled with plankton can pass through that gigantic mouth every hour. That's like 24 Olympic-sized swimming pools a day. Wow! The whale shark, the biggest fish in the world, also feeds on tiny plankton. But it can grow up to 15 meters long and weigh 18 tons. That's as big as a truck. Still, this is one shark that's actually quite peaceful. Then again, take a look at this horn shark. It's so small it could probably fit in your sock, but it packs a wallop. Whoa! It was just attacked by an angel shark hiding in the sand. But wait. The angel shark spit it out. <laughs> That's because the horn shark has a secret weapon a pink spine near its fin, which is no fun to chomp on. The horn shark goes on its merry way. And as for the angel shark, yeah, <laughs> Most sharks hunt alone, but here's one that often travels in schools, the hammerhead. Now, I know that it looks like old Hammy here got its nose caught in the door, but the big schnoz helps when tracking dinner. Sharks have ultra-special senses. They can detect the slightest movements of a fish hiding in the sand. Yep, there are more than 350 different kinds of sharks from the Megamouth to the Port Jackson to the woe be gone. You know, it's been fun shaking with the sharks, but I need to come up for air. <laughs> <laughs>